Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. An intensive chemotherapy regimen known as BCOP results in better control of advanced Hodgkin's lymphomas in the short term. Over time, however, the results with this treatment regimen are no better than those obtained with an older chemotherapy treatment known as ABVD, according to research published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Here is some information about Hodgkin's lymphoma. It is a cancer affecting lymph tissue which is found in the lymph nodes, spleen, liver, bone marrow and other sites. Often the first sign is swollen lymph nodes that appear without a known cause. The condition occurs most commonly in people aged 15 to 35 and 50 to 70. Researchers from the Milan Cancer Institute randomly assigned more than 330 patients with advanced Hodgkin's lymphoma who were considered to have a poor prognosis to treatment with BCOP or ABVD. Patients also received radiation therapy when it was deemed appropriate. For those whose disease progressed or returned despite this treatment, an additional state-of-the-art high-dose chemotherapy treatment was planned. After seven years, 85% of the patients treated with BCOP experienced no progression of their disease, compared with only 73% of those who received ABVD. Similarly, 78% of patients given BCOP survived without experiencing a health event related to their disease, compared with only 71% of those on the other regimen. Among 65 patients whose disease progressed and who went on to receive the additional high-dose treatment, 3 of the 20 who were originally treated with BCOP and 15 of the 45 originally treated with ABVD remained alive and free of disease. After completing the entire treatment regimen, including the additional high-dose therapy, rates of freedom from a second disease progression and overall survival were similar for those treated with the two regimens. Today's research highlights the difficult trade-off patients with advanced Hodgkin's disease may face. BCOP may provide better earlier results, but it is highly toxic, while ABVD may increase the risk of requiring an additional high-dose therapy that is also highly toxic. For Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.